What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today in our London Bulldogs Fantasy Draft Relocation Franchise. It is about to be week three. We kind of came off of a better game last week. Not really. You know, the, uh, the Rams almost choked it, but really they should have never even gave us a chance. Of course, I don't know if we completely spoiled it in the title or thumbnail, which we probably would have because, you know, got to get them views. Am I right? <laughs> like and subscribe. Follow your Twitter, Trump Care and such. Follow twitch.tv slash Trump Care. Stream tonight. Care plays second channel, Spider-Man. Um, <laughs> but we are, uh, you know, we signed a new player. A player that the team he was supposed to never leave. Did not want to pay. Of course, so many years out of the league and obviously with age. Free agent. We need everyone we can get. Of course, we know. You know, he I mean he didn't say it, but he basically told the front office, I'm using you to get a Super Bowl ring. Not obviously with us. Like the chances of us getting him a Super Bowl ring, super low. However, no one else wanted to give him a chance. We, of course, will, because we use any player we can. And he may even request a trade at the deadline if there's interest. So we'll see what happens. But, of course, the guy we're talking about is none other than Calvin Megatron Johnson. 78 overall, 35 years old. Looking, I mean, not even close to the way he was before he retired. But still has some pretty good catching uh, ratings. And, of course, still a pretty good route runner. The speed and excel and all that has dropped quite a bit. Still somewhat agile. Can still kind of truck uh, slash stiff arm a little bit. Can you trust him with the jump ball still? I mean, we'll have to find out. We'll have to find out at this point. Of course, his ability is route technician because there was no real one that fit him better. So, uh, you know, that's what you're going to deal with. He's the best receiver on the team now. Of course, Bush is still the primary target of the team, but... You can't ignore Calvin. Hopefully, he gets off to a decent start. I'm not expecting him to just go ham. But I'm hoping that maybe the offense doesn't look like a high school offense with him out there. Maybe we can move up to, like, the college level. <laughs> like, please. Of course, Vince Wilfork actually had a pretty good debut with us. So, you never know with Calvin. And, of course, on the, you know, the rest of the defense. Uh, I mean, there's really not many positions that uh, I feel better with. And, of course, I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, put Parsons at outside linebacker or whatever. This team is desperate at all positions, and we could definitely develop this man as a coverage player. I get it, right? The zone coverage is terrible and whatever. But his power move and finesse aren't super great. We can develop him as a coverage guy, okay? And if it doesn't work, we'll move him on the outside. But for right now, that's what we're going to do. I don't like our interior for the linebacker spot. While Luvu and uh, Malik Reed are at least okay. So, I mean, unless you put Kamal Martin as a starter with uh, Gilchrist, Gilchrist, whatever you guys want to call him. I've been hearing so many different people say his name is this, that, and the other thing. As of right now, that's what we're going to rock with. Unless it really means that much. And, of course, let's take a look. Um, no, no breakout, unfortunately. Let's take a look at Players of the Week. We likely won't have any Players of the Week, but do we give up any Players of the Week? That's what matters. The Chiefs had two players of the week. Do we play the Chiefs? We did not play the Chiefs. We played them in week seven. Nice. We didn't give up players of the week. I'm happy. Here we are playing against the Houston Texans in Houston. Of course, this is going to be a match. I mean, we don't even know what their team looks like. We know they have Herbert. We'll take a look when we get into the game. Seen Justin Herbert at least. I do not know who anyone else is. Could it be 11 B Julio? This is a fun game of guessing. <laughs> of course, uh, as much as, you know, Calvin's obviously the focal point of today's game. There he is. Uh, we still want to get anyone going at all. It doesn't matter who they are. Anyone going is the goal. Danucci, of course, getting the starting nod this week is King. I mean, it just was not pretty. For a while, I was like, hey, maybe he's got a chance here. And then there was a lot of wild throws, a lot of inaccuracy problems. So at the end of the day, uh, it's going to be Danucci's shot. And I have a feeling he's going to do a little bit better than King. I just want one of these starting quarterbacks to at least finish the game start to finish. I mean, please. All right, kicking the ball deep. And they will get a return on this. Taylor 
is set to return this thing. And he doesn't even get it to the 20, so no, he does get it to the 20. So, okay, not to the 25, though. Not a, not a bad special team stand. Justin Herbert, the starting quarterback, three touchdowns, two picks, 472 yards. I mean, it's not great, but what I mean, what can we say about it? I mean, what do we know about good quarterback play? All right, looking at the opposing team, of course, they have Herbert at the starting spot. Todd Gurley with Matt Breida backing him up. They have Marvin Jones at the number one spot, Auden Tate at number two, Chase Claypool at three, Arcega Whitehead at four, Malik Taylor at five. The tight end position is Eric Ebron and Jeff Swain. Left tackle is kind of rough. Left guard solid. Center is old but decent. Guard is old but not great. Tackle is not great. Kerrigan's old, not great. Okafor is not great. Kenny Clark, very good. Clowney, very good. Logan Wilson and Pratt, both uh, Bengals players. Uh, Harold Landry, so they got some good pass rushers. Jalen Ramsey, that's not good. Uh, Jalen Johnson, pretty solid player. Lonnie Johnson, Breland Justin Simmons and Jabril Peppers. So really the best bet for us to win this game, if not by the defense, is to run it right up the middle. But Kenny Clark's waiting there for us. So it's going to be a tough one, but I, I think we can do it. We pressure on the inside, and that's really where we were probably supposed to be. They gained 17 on the very first try. Underneath look, huge hit by Gilchrist. Really need to see some fumbles pop off, and guess what? Oh, the draft class. We see it every time, EA. We know. Come on. Up the middle, Will Fork fighting hard, but they are going to find yet another first down to Marvin Jones. Coming with the blitz, going to drop back. There is no one in sight over there. Eric Ebron takes it to the 20. I mean, we're basically water. At some point, they're going to run it, right? They got Todd. Maybe not. You bring the blitz, and they still have time to throw the gain is at 11. I mean, this isn't by any means a particularly explosive offense. I mean, their their receiving threats really aren't that great either. Their best option is Todd Gurley, and that's their first attempt. I mean, this is probably where we win and lose games is, well, maybe not lose games, but our chance to win a game is, is right around here at the goal line, and it's not gonna matter as we get stiff-armed to the turf like it's nobody's business. 70th career touchdown for Todd Gurley. All right, here we go. I mean, they are kind of stacking inside a little bit, but we're still going to give it a shot up the middle, and we got two players covering one guy. If one goes on one, oh, Harold Landry being injured. Once again, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be excited for an injury, but I'm just saying it helps tremendously because they're really a player on our team where I'm like, oh, no, he's injured. <laughs> like, I don't... You know, it is it is what it is. Got a couple of Johnsons on the field. Okay, that's kind of strange to say. And that's just going to be a coverage sack. Really good coverage, uh, and I can't even lie, pretty good blocking. It's just no one really open on the play. Colin Johnson down the middle. Maybe that curl route is kind of... Oh, never mind. And he holds on. I thought we were going to get popped by Simmons. Hurry up to the line. See if we can catch him off guard. It looks like they are going to stop the run, or try to at least. Ross is pretty open, a little overthrown, but it leads to a pretty big gain of about 14 yards. And there's not really much to this offense. I can't really say like, oh, we need to get rid of the ball quicker. Oh, we need to do this or this. I really just don't have a play where I'm just like, okay, this is going to work. And here goes a screen pass. Don't fumble. Thank you. Ross gains about seven or eight. Not bad. Just, I mean, we just have to score every time. And this, I mean, it's not super easy, right? There you go, Dylan. Of course, not going to you know truck over Simmons. It's highly unlikely, but I would have liked to see it. Pistol look. Might get this off to the fullback early. We will. Mr. Nabbers getting some room, and he's not going to take it past the 11, so there will be a first down around the one-and-a-half yard mark. Of course, coming out in the pistol, maybe going to try to trick him a little bit here. Changing it up. King, obviously, under center for that one. Try to catch him off guard, and now Kenny Clark is hurt. They're losing defenders like flies. Back out with King. King's going to keep it, and King will score. Okay, I'm not saying he's going to be our Taysom Hill per se, but I definitely want to get him in on those read op type looks. You know, not particularly a hard drive by Danucci, but a good drive by Danucci. Finished off, 
with a little bit of trickery, a little bit of, uh, oh, they're trying to do it themselves. Ironically enough, they gain seven with the handoff to Gurley. Micah Parsons tries to get over there and he brings him down, a tough tackle. And now a third and two look. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel really good about getting off the field ever, but it's not a bad look. And that is a really good play. I mean, we kind of hesitated. I know somebody off the edge could have ran in and said they went for the freaking pitch. But he handed off to the fullback. Good read. You know, if it was a read, it might have just been straight up fullback fake pitch the whole time. Underneath. Oh, we got some good coverage there with Hill. Caught anyways, but of course out of bounds, thankfully. So, I mean, we forced our first incompletion. That's, uh, I mean, it's something. Kind of. Pretty good press on the outside. Tell gets burned, and then you have Duvall, or who's it, Robinson? Somebody just not tackling on the interior, and that's going to be another first down. Come on, boys. Let's get in here. Let's make a play. And that is a really good block. Try to tackle Gurley. Of course, he's going to slip off. Gains 21 on the pass to the 20-yard line. Could be a run. I mean, I would just give the ball to Gurley every play. Oh, we had him from the freaking get-go. Of course, good recovery defense, but come on, fellas. Those are the types of plays that win games. All right, Hill on the inside. To the outside, and he misses the SWAT. First down to the nine. Of course, we know that inside the 10, like, you know, around the nine, 10 yard line, it's not as easy as like a, a five yard first and goal. So maybe turn this into something. Kirkpatrick forcing the issue, but it does not matter as Ebron takes it in for the touchdown, and now Luvu is hurt. Somebody's got to talk to the coaches. We're trying to return a kick here, and they've got us in the helmet talking about what do you want to do with the, the pass rusher? What do you think I want to do? The man is injured. What do you think the response is going to be? Come on. Come on, buddy. Calvin Johnson on the inside. Gets a little bit of separation as he attacks the ball. Welcome back, fella. 15-yard gain, I believe, on the play. Not a bad start. Now Calvin on the lead block. I really believed in that play, too. Oh, well, start of the second. You know what? We just come right back to it. Why not? Pretty good to me. On the outside, and Dylan, he just bouncing off of players here. I don't know what's going on, but gain of three in what should have probably been a massive gain. Just, uh, just saying. Could be a quick throw to Ross. It is not. It's going to go to Cal. No, it's Colin. It's Colin Johnson, not Calvin Johnson. Can't wait for that to come up a lot. That's going to be fun. Can I put Bush in the backfield? That'd be sick. It'd be so sick to put Bush in the backfield and then... Damn it. And we're going to get hit as we're throwing. We had two guys open on the interior there, but they just... I mean, the linebackers just knew where they were going. Screen pass, and unfortunately, Kaminsky all over that play. We lose five. Of course, you're going to go in any short route. You're not going to have Calvin running it. Come on, Colin. What is he jumping back for? Is he actually for real? Fourth and seven. And I guess we have to punt. Here we go. Wiswander. Let's take a look at this punt. Oh, no. To the 11. I mean, it's not a bad punt. It's not bad. But we're trusting our defense to make a play here. Luvu, of course, is back. And he's going to take off. Taking down for a gain of five. Would have loved to see a fumble there. Micah Parsons all over that. Inside, I mean, there's just no coverage anywhere. I'm just surprised they haven't burned us deep more often because we press a lot. No, bring him down. We had to die. I mean, they throw the ball every 2.3 seconds. So felt like when we even got close to him, we had to go for it. If you're not going to bust free. Let's free some space up for Kirk at least, which we did. But nobody inside. And not only is he going to catch it with a guy all over him, he's going to freaking corral it and turn up field for the first down. Wow. What a player. To the outside. Very smart not to cut it back inside. I know he lost a bit of yards there, but we are ready to pop him with Duvall. Vince, come on, buddy. There you go, big boy. In a little while, we come in with that blitz. Kind of have to. No pressure equals no win. 
Third and ten. Come on, boys. I mean, there's nowhere else to go for us. Good solid tackle, and they're going to punt. Shocking. We force a stop. They force a stop on us. We force a stop on them. Might be able to tie this game up before half. Who knows? All right, run with Dylan. And I don't know why it forced us so far to the right. Left was naked. But it forced me so far to the right, I was like, okay, I guess we're going to the, the right. All right, Parham has not been involved yet. Can he get involved on this one? He cannot. Bush can, though. Perfect throw and a terrible block by Colin. I know that, you know, Ramsey's a great corner and all, but you got to do better there, dude. If you do better on that block, we could turn that for 20 extra. Inside the middle, Ross going to gain about eight yards on the play. Now our center is hurt, McGovern. Sweet. Now we got to hand it off. That's all right. We're going to gain probably the first down, right? They're going to say inches, really? We'll just make it look easy anyways. Get another three. All right, we got the slants. We can't. We got to throw that away sooner. They're kind of open, but they're not open. That's just a pick waiting to happen. Foot contusion. In theory, that should be fine. Second and 23, I think, like, just we're not going to get their passing. We got to get creative. And they just do not fall for it one singular bit. All right, might be time for the old Megatron to go one-on-one. -on -one. See what we can get out of it. We had the tight end. Damn. Come on, Calvin. Oh, that would have been sick. We had Parham. I think he would have had the first two, but already had it thrown. Unfortunately, saw it right as we were predetermining. I saw the edge rusher coming from our left, and I thought he was going to get there way before I had a chance to make a proper read. Panicked. Panicked in the pocket there. Well, kind of in the pocket. Got the run stopped. I don't know if they're going to try the run, but if they did, we would have had it. To the outside. Come on. There you go, Parsons. Huge hit. Clock is draining at a pretty fast rate, but not fast enough. Come on, Kirk. Oh, huge hit attempt. No finish. Gilchrist with the attempt. Of course, Wilford dropping back is the worst possible thing you could ever imagine. Is that Parsons? It is not. It is Luvu. I'm going to get aggressive. This is a risky one, but I feel like... With that play, they may just take their, you know, take their lead into half. Obviously, we won't try, you know, try not to let them, but we are giving them a pretty big lane to run with, too. Are they going to take the timeout? They will. It's going to be an interesting one now. Third and 11. Yeah, got to drop into coverage again. There's very, you know, big chance that they do just run it again, but still. And they do. He takes it to the wrong side. And he almost gets it still. I'm calling a timeout because I think it's fourth and one. Thankfully, because that could have been a disastrous timeout. Yeah, I've learned my lesson. We're not going to use timeouts before half anymore unless we already have the ball. Because that was tragic. And it was almost really bad. Ross is going to take that for nothing. One timeout from our own 21 with 34 seconds. Might have two plays in the middle of the field. I'm just saying in the middle because I don't know if we're even going to have a chance to go anywhere else. They're going to just cover the outside so well. And that's a really good try, but it is Jalen Ramsey after all. Ross on the inside, Bush down the middle. I kind of like what I'm seeing here. I think you got to take that, right? That is really good coverage by Jalen. Calvin, you've got to be joking me. No way! Oh my lord, you've got to be kidding me. There you go, Dylan. Oh my god, what is that acceleration? Oh my lord. Was it just a really bad throw? I mean, I guess we're going to punt it, but like, what was that? Take a look at those halftime stats. I would imagine they're pretty similar. It's just we don't have the points. Looking at those halftime stats, the passing numbers, they have 152. We have 92. Rushing, so rushing similar, passing we're down about 60 yards. I do believe we get the ball here at half, though. And of course, with the lack of scoring we have, we got to take every opportunity we can get. Good blocking, boys. To the 17, great news. All right, Dylan, not very good at, uh, you know, we're actually going to run the ball. I kind of like that outside look. Wow, they closed hard. Ross on the middle field, double drag. I, I mean, I guess, right? Might as well. 
And that is severely overthrown. Come on, Danucci. You're better than that. Probably isn't, but like here we are saying things. Calvin, you're my guy. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of quick read looks. All right, be on your best behavior, boys. I sold to the running back so hard, and Ross obviously isn't gonna come anywhere near it. Calvin was probably naked over the middle. Do we trust the fake? No, we're not gonna trust the fake. All right, that kick is so far off the side of his foot. I don't know what is going on with this guy, but we need a new punter. This is bad news. All right, we got five rushers coming in. Had to slow down for the tight end there. And we are dying out here. Todd Gurley first down. I mean, we just have no offense. Defense isn't great, but we have no offense. That's the problem. We have like one drive early, and then we're just locked down. And I can't even say Danucci's playing better than uh, King. We're just playing more conservatively. I mean, there's just nothing a team could do when you have that much time. Maybe Parsons does need to go back on the outside. Because as of right now, this is brutally bad. Like, I've never seen a team blatantly not run because they just know they don't have to. This is insane. I mean, he just breaks off the freaking tackle. We bust him in the back of the, you know, in the backfield, and we just can't finish him. And that's, I mean, it's not our coverage, but we could have been there, and now we're down 14, as we usually are at this point. All right, they're going to think it's a read. Running back is wide open. Ross stay, okay. Jabril Peppers is now injured. All right, somebody please get open for the love of Jesus. Should have taken the tight end. I, I just predetermined. I saw so many players, like, rushing in from that side. I thought they were going to cover the tight end, and I just... I knew he was going to be open. I just didn't trust it, and it was there. It's disappointing, but it was there. Get that throw off. There you go. About damn time we get a first down. Seems like we get one of those every three years. Read option look, the same thing that scored the touchdown. And King breaking ankles. Gains about nine. What a play. There you go, King. All right, we've got an interesting play here. Calvin to the outside. I don't even know. Is that a fake screen? And it worked, so I just took it. It looked good to me. Play action look. We're going to bring Ross back over to the other side. Calvin Johnson off the back. That's not Calvin. That's Colin. Can we please not? And that wide receiver, the corner over there, is feeling it. Calvin Johnson gets about a first down. Looks like he put the ball over the line. And they gave him credit for it. I don't like any of these looks at all. I could have threw it back across, but... Damn it, I think that was number 69 that just got called for it. That or one of the receivers. I knew it was number 69. I saw it. I was like, that's a really good block. And then I saw it come back. I was like, that's a really bad block. <laughs> Parham with a quick throw option. Eans about nine. Not a bad read. And there goes Parham. We're going to take our guarantee. Driving down the field well. Now, of course, this is where things are going to get a little bit tougher. RPO bubble. Hand off. I really need number 60. Come on, Jordan. You got to get in there. I'm going to put Calvin all the way on the far outside because I just know he's going to miss if he doesn't. To the outside. And like I said with Calvin, touchdown, Dylan. Calvin Johnson just hammered the guy. There you go. We desperately need more, more drives like that. I must say classes like that. We're going to bring the house on this one. And it works. Had both of the tight ends. We were getting ready to, you know, filter between both of them. Thankfully, we get there. Jeez, that took so long to develop, as always. Come on, guys. Oh, we cancel in this. I really want Robinson in there, but we can't. Got to back him up. Over the middle. We recovered nicely. Bit of coverage and a sack. No. Down to the one. I don't care what it looks like. We have got to back them up. No, we don't. No, we don't. We're going hardcore for this. They want to bring this. We we coming. Can we time it with Parsons? We cannot. 
off the edge and Todd fights back in there. Herbert sold that drive down the river. We now, we should have went for the block. Damn it. Oh, we actually almost got the block anyways. We get a decent set of blocks ourselves though. Yeah, it's, it works. You know, a block maybe resulted in a guarantee score, but to the 33, Ross looking a little banged up. He's just checking in all of his extremities. I got my elbow still. Thank you. That's all I care about. All right, Dylan, with the last touchdown you had, let's give you a carry to start this drive off. He's got a bit of blockers. Bowls through a couple of players for a gain of 12. The blocks have been pretty bad today, but a couple of decent blocks here in the late portion of the third. I'm going to be honest. None of this attra attracts me. I might try to get a fake... You know, you know, catch him offside, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let this go to the fourth. Down seven. We got ourselves a competitive one. It is not a blitz. Calvin over the middle is open, holds on to it, even with pressure all over him. Taking the short gain anytime he can get it. Of course, he did do that a lot as well, in fairness, but not known as much for that. And wow. You can't tell me Kaminsky is that good. He just he just simply is not. Calvin Johnson, and he holds on down to the five, six. Very clutch. Got that read option look again. I don't know how I feel about this because obviously uh, and there's so many more linebackers. And I feel great about it as King runs in for his second touchdown. Perfect play calling. It worked. I mean, we didn't pass too many times to King in this game, but it worked enough, and we trick him for the score. That's what I'm talking about. Tied game, and it's an earned one. That's what I like to see. Duvall steps up perfectly. What is that? Super speed over here for Eric Ebron to the 34-yard line. Almost a gain of a first down. Of course, it's going to hurt us now because we're going to have to commit a lot to stop this. And, of course, Hill could be burned over top. And instead, we do a really good job, but they are going to gain the first. Todd Gurley has been very agile on this one. Deep routes a little dangerous here. Obviously, down the deep mid, there's nothing covering. And Brooks blows it up with the help of Gilchrist. Second and nine. Seven minutes left. Obviously, we're committing quite the resources to stopping the run, but the way we've played in general today, it really doesn't matter. We just got to get there anyways. And that's good D. Of course, we kind of steal the tackle there, but got to make sure we get him down. So, obviously, we're going to use the linebacker. Really don't want to blitz these corners. Who do we got? Duvall. Let's drop. Let's keep T's Tabor in uh, coverage. To the outside, and he's not going to get it. That's going to... They're going to say he caught that, by the way. They're going to have to punt this. I don't understand how that's a catch. Let me take a look at this. Three-yard gain, me holes. I'm going to throw the challenge flag anyways. Give me my three yards. Not even close. Yeah, give me those three yards back, buddy. A.J. Dillon, start of this game. Not great. Since then, not bad. Let's get heavy to start. You have that shot to Calvin, but I, I'm just going to hold on to that for now. And I'm going to need some better blocks than that. Dylan fighting as hard as he can gains two. We have the convoy, boys. And that's a close call. I thought Bush was going to bring enough attention, and he just did not. All right, clear out play. Calvin deep. Parham could be our guy, and he is. Hit that throw for me, and Parham holds on. A super dependable man himself. Johnson could be open here. And he is wide open, blown play, and he's running down the sideline to the 16-yard line. Caught Simmons off guard with that speed. Good play. Of course, going to catch him off guard here with Danucci on the read -op. And they actually did run. Why is he spinning there? They did read Danucci, but he got chipped by the tight end. So maybe he could have got away with holding on to it with Danucci, but eh, it's not worth it. I don't want to sell out in this drive, but I also want to get too excited. You know, they've got some pretty good corners. Let's just take what we can get up the middle with Dylan. Gains about five. Double move on the inside. Double move, well, kind of a double move on the in, uh, like on the short side of things. Bush on the inside, and, you know, could have maybe tried to wait. There was pressure coming. The linebacker or safety, whoever it was, was right in our face there with the throw. Going to try to take our field goal. A little bit of wind. Kick should be good. And it is with three minutes left in the game. We are up by three. As long as we hold them out of the freaking end zone, we're going to at least take this to overtime. Come on, defense. You played miraculous football today. Crazy football. I don't even think... Did they... 
they may have scored a seven pointer in the in the three in the third, right? I think so. But outside of that, I mean, defense has been pretty good. We come with the blitz, and it's kind of worked. So why go away from him? They've been running the ball a lot too, which is really strange. Over the middle, what is Hill taking a step for there? Hill has been awful. That's Auden Tate. Super, super slow player, and he's getting burned left and right here. Move out a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. Ooh, oh, what a hit. Gilcry has been all over the ball today. Super, super sneaky. Is that out wide? Tell. Fair enough. Over the middle, I couldn't get there. Gilcry is in my way. Huge hit by Duvall. Knocks him down at the nine. Okay, in fairness. I mean, we get the ball back no matter what. The question is, can we make that, no matter what, a tied game? So all we got to do is hold them to a tied game, and we'll be in a good spot. And he's just going to keep fighting. Gains eight yards. There's nothing else he can do but to run commit at the goal line. They have the two-minute warning if they want to try to use us. And we do hold them to the one. Well, we got to run commit anyways. We're committed now. And he's wide open in the back of the... I mean, what else do you do? They're at the one. You tie in the game up. I mean, they kick the field goal, they tie the game up. Like, what are we supposed to do? All right, two-minute drive for Danuch. Potentially king, depends on what kind of look we have. Spot and go. I kind of... Can I switch it to Calvin? Nice. That's way better. Ten times better. It's a risk, but it's Calvin. And he holds on! That's what we're talking about, buddy! Let's go. What a play. The decision. Ooh, we're going to run it up the middle. We're going to risk it. I could have I could have given it to Colin. Just, I don't know. I just don't trust the RPO. I'd rather lose on a straight-up blind read or like a deflected play or something rather than, you know, just some specialty read bull crap. And Danucci got some speed. Gonna take that for the first down and get out of bounds. What a play. I am surprised he outran Clowney. Close call. The problem with this one is they will look at the running back, however, like they will look at us, but however, they won't expect the screen, right? Like, oh, there you go. And really good play by them. We're gonna call our first time out. Like you just think when King's in, it's gonna be a run or some sort of quick pass. You don't really expect the screen, right? Like I don't, <laughs> like if I was them, I would not expect King to come in and throw. Calvin on the outside. Why is that throw so far? And he still holds on. Let's hear it to the line. Uh, we cannot be audible in like this. I was just hoping we would just flip sides. Read op look. Okay. And they read it last second. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe we should have just taken our time out right off the gate. I don't know. Thought we would get to the line quicker than that. I ain't going to lie. Par him on that. That's crazy. And we can take the sack. Damn it. Staring down the play. I didn't see a single soul. They got Jalen over there. I don't I just don't trust that. Calvin 101 if he has it. If he has it. I'm just gonna take that. Damn it. Fourth and goal from the 20. I ain't gonna lie, we sold a bit here. We really we sold a bit. I want Calvin all the way on his own over there. And I know it's going over to I don't want Parham on this. This is tough. Oh well. Parkinson holds on for the score. Up the middle first look all day. And he gets it on fourth and goal from the 20. Danucci delivers. Danucci delivers into triple. Perfect dime. Look at Danucci pumped as can be. Literally the first throw to Parkinson all game. Literally all game. Unbelievable. And we missed the extra point, I think. Jesus, barely. No way. They have three timeouts. I'm a little weary about kicking a squib here. Oh, well, we got to kick a squib. Bit of win. You never know. That'll happen to the kick bar thing there. I mean, it goes to the running back. That's, I mean, it's pretty good for us. And oh my. Is that Duvall? Prevent. Get the hell back, children. He's going to take the shot into double. And it's picked off by Tease Tabor. No, it's not. It wasn't Tease Tabor. 
Hey, I don't care who the hell picks the ball off. There you go. First turnover force of the game, I believe, ironically enough. Is that Marvin Tell? Ah, Antoine Brooks. I didn't expect it to be a safety. Interesting. What a pick. And the Bulldogs are going to win their very first game of the season. What a performance. King with two rushing touchdowns. Dylan had a rushing touchdown. Danucci with, of course, a passing touchdown right at the end. What a freaking game. I did not think we had a chance winning that game. Defense held their end of the bargain, obviously. And offense finally got stuff going. Calvin Johnson, what an absolute hero. Hero. He's a freaking legend. Then again, everyone is so bad around him that, you know, everyone probably looks like a legend to him. Well, you know, he makes everyone look bad because he's a legend. I don't know, dude. Look at the stat line. So similar. Takeaway obviously didn't matter, but I mean, look at those yards and touchdowns and whatnot or points. You could tell it was anyone's game because it really was. It was right there. Three-point deficit. We beat the Houston Texans. We finally get a win. We're not going undefeated. Well, winless, I guess. The opposite undefeated. Not a bad game, Danucci. 24 for 33, 72 yards with a touchdown, no interceptions. Of course, Herbert was lights out as well. King, two for three. I think they were all screens, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Gurley with 18 for 53 with a touchdown. Dylan, 14 for 56 with a touchdown. Ross, kind of a meh game from him to Eric King, three for 23 with two touchdowns. Ben Danucci. Had a huge rush against Clowney. Outran him on the outside. Calvin Johnson, 7 for 92. No touchdowns. Ross, 6 for 32. Colin Johnson, 4 for 69. Bush, 3 for 39. Parham, 3 for 46. Parkinson with the one clutch catch. 1 for 20 with a touchdown. Neighbors, Nabbers. Uh, I think it's Neighbors because Nabbers would be two Bs, right? Gets an 11-yard play right out the gate on that one play, and then Dylan with a six-yard right before half. Should have been more. Could have maybe put more points up on the board. Sack totals, one and a half for Luvu. Holton Hill had a sack on the blitz. It was super slow anyways, and we brought like six or seven. Kirkpatrick with half of the other sack for Luvu. Picks, Antoine Brooks right at the end. Kicking was perfect. Just a flawless game. I mean, you cannot ask for more. Look at this catch. Look at this throw. I mean, that's just beautiful stuff. We do have some upgrades, but we're going to wait till next week. If you weren't entertained, I don't. You, you may be a zombie. I don't even know what to tell you. That was insane. My voice is gone. We have a bye week coming up. Things are happening. And hey, don't count the Bulldogs out yet. We may go 2-14. and 14. <laughs> But regardless, like I said, if you did enjoy the video and you like franchise, maybe subscribe. We do a ton of franchise, of course, on the channel. Maybe leave a like, and it helps me out, if anything else, that's about it. Or, you know, for the sound of this man, eh, I don't know. Uh, maybe follow me on Twitter, John PK, second channel PK plays, where we do Spider-Man, uh, World War Z, Left 4 Dead, pretty much any game you can probably think of or, you know, recommend, we'll probably play. We're going to be doing Last of Us whenever we finish Spider-Man, so there's that. And, of course, twitch.tv slash John PK, where sometimes we will stream such things, just like Madden. Regardless, thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!